Hi, everyone. My name is Philip Campo. I'm a professor at Carnegie Mellon University, but when I'm not in the classroom, I'm working on large scale online education projects. If you're interested in computational biology, then you might be familiar with the Rosalind and bioinformatics algorithms projects that I co-founded. Today, I'm very happy to share with you a brand new project that I've been working on with a few of my wonderful students at Carnegie Mellon and that serves as the basis of this campaign. It's a textbook called Biological Modeling, a short tour, which will be published in both electronic and print formats. I've worked really hard to find stories for this project that are a little bit different and that I think aren't told often enough. So here are the five big picture questions that the book is going to address and that can all be answered by modeling of biological systems. Number one, how do zebras get stripes? This question was first addressed by, of all people, famed computer science uh, expert Alan Turing, who noticed that a simple system of two particles in which one particle acts as a predator and the other acts as prey can lead to amazing patterns including stripes and spots. Number two, whether it's your heartbeat, your respiratory cycle, or the circadian rhythm body clock that all your cells adhere to, many biological processes depend on oscillations back and forth over time. So how can these oscillations be explained by simple molecular interactions? Number three, when we look at a bacterium like E. coli under a microscope, we see what seems to be an intelligent exploration of its surroundings in order to find food. How can we break down that clever exploration algorithm and understand it in terms of simple instructions that can be carried out by unintelligent molecular processes? Number four, how do we predict the structure of the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein? And once we've done that, how can we compare it against the spike protein from a related virus that didn't wind up causing a pandemic? And fifth and finally, when your doctor orders a blood cell count, this is often meant historically that a trained technician needs to manually count each type of cell under a microscope. Can we instead train a computer to see and classify blood cells and hope that that computer can be just as accurate as a human? So funding this project is a way for you to pre-order the book or just to show your support with tiers that start at $1. And if you don't feel comfortable supporting this campaign or you wanna get started learning about biological modeling today, that's okay too. We have an entire website available at biologicalmodeling.org that covers the same material that the book will cover. This website is free and always will be. It also includes some tutorials based on popular software resources produced by biological modeling experts from the MMBIOS Research Center that allow you to get your hands dirty and answer for yourself some of the questions that we ask in the book. So thank you so much for your support. I would be honored if you would check out biological modeling and all the best on your educational journey, wherever it may take you.